I want Kajurium. Yeah. That's a big mod, especially considering we already have a mod from its category, meaning Kajurium costs 15. Here's the thing. We have 108 knowledge shards, meaning we have enough for 13. We only need two more knowledge shards, two more knowledge, two stars worth of, we need 12 more shards, right? Which is quite a bit of knowledge essence, except in this Gilder Boy chest, we have one and two living modifier catalysts. This guy has voiding, which is a horrible thing, meaning there's a 10% increased chance that mobs will void your time when they hit you. But you have this guy, time acceleration immunity, which I believe means voiding is worthless if we have this guy. I have a crystal here. With two times living, we should have no problem finding a ton of knowledge essence, possibly everything we need, though we might have to run this vault, which means I need a little bit more ice and a wee bit more bones. I'm really hoping not because, you know, like bones can come from Kajurium. It'd be very useful to have it. But before we run the vault, I did some stuff off camera. Got this new sword. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is, I think, 37 damage on a hit. That's kind of all it does. But we have a poison two cloud on this as well. And it was just better than our old sword. We lose a little bit of soul chance, but uh, look at that attack speed. Our DPS is 95.8. Whoa. We also rolled a 20% block chance shield. So we might start using a shield because that's a pretty high block chance, not gonna lie. And look at those two completion crates and a bounty crate. Yes, I finally completed a scavenger vault. It took me forever. Finally did it. I say we open them all up. Put up, put up, put up. Whoa, oh, no way, no way, another artifact, what, what, our third one, are you kidding me, oh, and look at all this chromatic iron, I, that's what I was going to be so excited about, oh, chromatic iron, that's what I did this for, two blank seals, an artifact, nothing else matters, are you kidding me, here's our relic fragment, I think we already have this guy, ah, oh, that sucks, shield, sword, boots, Nope. Nope. No. Oh, oh, oh. oh, nine armor. I don't really want to lose five health to 10% healing proficiency. Or efficiency? Proof? Is it efficiency? Efficiency. So let's see if we can't roll something nice. I don't care about Thorazins. Wow. 13 armor. Is it worth losing the health? Let's see. What's our defense go to? 54% from 47. That's pretty significant, but losing two and a half hearts feels like a lot. Uh, I'm going to try them, though. That's that's quite a bit. And, of course, artifact number three. Wow. This is a sparkle teen artifact with, I don't know, what is that, a bunch of books or something? Interesting. Uh, two frames per second. Uh, these are all references to previous seasons of the main Vault Hunters SMP. I can't believe we got a third one. That's incredible. All right, crazy luck rolls aside. I think it is high time we run this vault. We've got our time immunity idol. I got our boots all enchanted up. We'll see how that feels. 38, let's go. Looks like we've got a pretty tough scav. Although I guess the hardest thing comes from the living chests, which there's going to be oogles and oogles of. Yes, very nice, very nice. All righty. I should have changed my hunter to living, shouldn't I? Hmm. That is all right. That is all right. Hindsight's twenty twenty, right? This looks like an ore common room. Maybe it's worth it to actually loot this one? Just because, you know, I mean... Oh my gosh, I just did 75 damage to that guy. That's ridiculous. Yeah! Wow! Oh, this new sword is so powerful. I one-hit pretty much all the tier 1 mobs at this point. And the tier 2 mobs are two shot. So even though it doesn't have chaining, which could you imagine if it had chaining, um, but even though it doesn't have chaining, it's okay. Like, it, I don't think it needs it, honestly. Well, this is a huge ore POI. I've gotten multiple black opal out of this. Black opal's very rare. Ooh, two pog gems right next to each other. How lucky. I cannot wait to run that triple plentiful, but... Well, you know, I've been waiting for a mine room rune, but they just announced in the newest update that they're probably removing runes. 
Uh, they're also completely changing how the vault pickaxes work, which is why I haven't touched them. And it's so depressing because in one of my off-camera vaults, I found an echoing jewel in a, uh, what was it? In one of those vendor rooms. Yeah, a full echoing jewel. But I just, you know, you gotta skip it because it's literally useless because all of our gems and jewels are going to be useless. Yeah, they're going to be given a soul value, hopefully for a lot since we've acquired them through completion crates and spending our gold on them. But we're going to have to see in the next update. Oh, another ore common room. Wow. Living chests and ores. Hey, those are some of the most important ones, though, to be perfectly honest with you. I do not mind that combination. I don't even know what we're going to do with all of our pog gems right now, because to be perfectly honest, what we really need are echo gems, right? To really make the cool stuff. I suppose we could go and make an echo pog. We actually have enough resources to do so. But what would I use an echo pog on? I mean, I could use it on a cart assembler for create, but I don't feel like I need a cart assembler for create right now. There are other things that I'm going to be doing in create. Not in this episode, but I've got some plans for next episode. Ooh, Omega. In addition to the knowledge essence, it'll be really, really nice to be getting the Eternal Souls back because it costs 100 to make one Eternal and it is going to cost 500 to make my next Eternal. Speaking of Eternals, did I forget to alive my unalive one? It's possible. I would definitely love to complete this vault because I have a pretty nice bounty for complete any vault. And I mean, if we find some coin POYs, gilded chests, that, well, here's some ornate chests. So, oh, and there's some gilded chests. So, hey, it's possible, it's possible, right? Definitely possible. We'll have to see about that. Ow. Okay, that was a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. Kind of stopped my heart there, but come on, empty jars. Ah, very sad. No jars, no nothings. Ooh, hello, purple. Oh, and more living. Very nice. Whoa, whoa. Skeleton duo. Wah. Yeah. Oh, boy. I've had quite enough of skeletons today. Now I got a bow skeleton. Hold on, there's a lot going on here. Well, hopefully my eternal isn't unalived. Yes! Go forth, Mini-Me! Destroy! I gave Mini-Me the old sword, by the way, since it was so good. Oh, more living down here. Woohoo! Oh, and more ornates. So another chance for those empty jars. But first, let's see about these Gilder Boys. Oh, there's one of the scrolls. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! Who's shooting at me? No one in particular. Satchel? No, thank you. Sack? No. There appears to be, however, a dungeon over here. I'm curious what kind of dungeon it is. From the mini-map, it's looking like an ornate dungeon. Those are quite good. I know this is a living vault, but come on. Can can you, can anyone in their right mind pass up an ornate dungeon? They're so good. Alright, gotta speedily loot that. Oh my gosh, two pieces of vault gear in the same chest? I didn't know that could happen. That's incredible. Oh, that is not as incredible. That's a whole lot less incredible, actually, than, you know, two pieces of vault gear in a single chest. Hmm. Okay. Still need a lot more living chests, though, so... Probably gonna have to start picking up the pace a bit. And not missing any of them, too. Huh! There were two pylons in this room. That guy's strength. So I guess I'll go for it. I mean, no reason, right? I love climbing, by the way, with the water bucket. It's like, it's so fluid to do when you have an infinite one. I know it's kind of a weird thing to be my favorite use of the infinite water bucket, but I think it is. It's just such a good way to, like, get verticality. All right, and we have more strength, so more damage. Yeah, this this void time immunity idol is kind of awesome. Oh, a trader room. Sure. Take a quick peek, take a quick peek. And remember, if we see a jewel, we're not going to buy it because all it's going to do is take our money and turn it into soul value and make us sad. Though I don't think I have a whole lot of money on me. We're a little poor when it comes to money. I didn't bring any. I saw up there is a mystery box. I don't care about mystery boxes. Fun fact, in a mystery egg. Oh, well, I think we're okay. There's actually now a lower layer to this bit. Ashing jewel, worthless. Okay, nothing interesting. Living chests, where are you? 
This is another ore room. There's the zombie brain. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Just coins and Gilder Boys and Vault Fighters, but Vault Fighters are not hard. Another speed guy? Yes, please. And thank you. Woo! Ooh, coins. Yes, yes. Hey, we could get five blood vials right here and now. I'd love that. I really would. Oh, please, oh, please. I've been a good boy. Oh my gosh, are there two doors next to each other? I've been seeing that a lot in Update 6. Wow, that got dangerous. Yeah, I feel like I've been seeing a lot of doors near each other in this update. Uh, I think we got like two. Two. Oh, I one shot the creepers now as well. Tier two creepers. I will take that. Oh, more coins. Love to see it next to Gilder Boys as well. We're not Gilder Boys. Living. Living lasses. All right, those are all the coin piles we need, actually. Nice. Really is going to come down to a single common item from a gilded chest, isn't it? All righty. Still got six and a half minutes or so. I'm, I'm confident. I'm feeling confident. All we need is a gilded POI. Uh, as long as it has like three or more chests in it, we're pretty much golden. Scrolls are not hard to find at all. The common, obviously. That's a big old... Oh, oh my gosh! Echo. That's our first echo. That's our first echo. Oh, what? What? What is going on? What is happening in this vault? We cannot die. Oh my gosh, we cannot die. All right, this is this is an ore POI room. I, I want to explore. Oh! Uh-uh. Uh-uh. We're not doing this, baby zombie. A baby zombie is not killing an amazing vault run of mine again. No. 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 We are not having that happen. Again. Not two videos in a row. Oh my gosh, we got an Echo Gem. All I need are some Gilder Boys. Please. This could be it. Right next to an altar as well. This could be- come on, die please. This could be it. Okay, nothing in that Gilder Boy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, painful. Very painful. Do we even have- yeah, we have everything else. Come on, come on, I don't want to have to bail this one, or survive, but it'll feel like bailing. We're so close, we're so close. I'm gonna push it a little bit, we still have uh, plenty of time, we still have plenty of time, okay. Oh man, these new boots, by the way, I think they're the way to go. That is so much armor increase, has helped us tremendously. Oh, I'm running on pure adrenaline right now, three minutes. Three minutes and we are close. We are close to the exit room. Oh man, oh man. Need I remind you all that we have an echo ore in our pockets? Ow, living. No, skipping those now. Gilded. Gilded's all I care about. Gilded, 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 gilded. My heart is pounding right now. I, I can barely commentate over what is happening. I'm just kind of like sat. I'm hunched over. I'm staring at my screen. Like my mouth hanging open. Really, all we need is that scroll, right? That's all we need. All we need. One. One stinking thing. One stinking common item. Nope. It's not worth it. Alright. That's that. That's that. It's not worth it. It's not worth that. <sighs> I'm gonna check this room over here. There are probably no Gilder Boys in that room anyways. Come on. One scroll. One scroll. One scroll, come on. I ask so little. Oh, come on. Come on. Do this for me. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, too rare. Nothing. Come on, come on. 
Ah, okay. All right, that's it. That's all I push it. Ah, crushing. Crushing pain. Ah, I'm shaking. All right, we're getting out of here. We're getting out of this vault. We're out of here. Oh, too much. Too much stress. Can't handle it. Oh, my heart is stopping. Jeez. Ugh. I just, I just wanted some knowledge essence. That's all I wanted. A little bit of knowledge essence, and it turned into the most stressful vault in the entire planet. I can't believe we're short a red scroll of all things, of all things. No, defeated by the cheapest item in the game. Ah, <sighs> that is an amazing vault. How much does an echo ore give, huh? We got out with an echo ore. 512, good lord. And we got eight black opal, one red scroll. So painful, so painful. Oh, 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 yes. I can't believe we finally found one. Yes. All right, moment of truth. Did we get enough? Did we get enough? Oh, yes, 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 we did. Oh, that makes me feel so much better about not completing that vault. Yes. That means we need 15 extraordinary Benyatite. Hmm, this rain is appropriate. We need about a stack of these. So, oh, wow, almost the amount. All right, we're gonna have to fortune down some of our Benny boys, but that's not an issue. Oh, the epic highs and lows of Vault Hunters. Oof, a little bit of lag. I apologize for that. So you have 235 vault diamonds. How many are you going to have after this? 115. <laughs> it's not as bad as I thought it was. And finally, after a very long time of not unlocking a mod because of how expensive they are. <gasps> oh, yes, 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 yes. Cagerium. Woohoo. That finally means this is... A uh, cage thing? What's it called? Uh, at cage. I'll just click by mod. Yes, we got a mob terrarium from Cagerium, okay? And we haven't been able to use it. It just wouldn't let us use it, which means that finally, after all this time, I can take this salmon spawn egg and the nightmare is over. Yes. Yes, the nightmare is over. For now, I'm going to put our Cagerium stuff up top here because I don't have a space for it yet. But I can plonk down our mob terrarium. Take our spawn egg. Boop. Why is it, why is it laying down? <laughs> why is it laying down like it's dead? <laughs> oh my gosh. But after a little while, the salmon being inside of here, it should output a salmon into the drawer below. Let's see. Yay. Definitely took a while to make one, but I'm pretty sure it just outputs one. Yeah, nice. But still, that is an automatic fishworm. It'll run just like our botany pots as long as we're here, and we do not have to worry about it. Now, if we take our sheep eggs and put them into... Ew, sheep eggs. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I hated that. I'm never going to say that again. If we take our sheep spawners and put them into one of these terrariums, which by the way, just cost some glass, a vault meat block, and then three of these binding plates. So, it's, you know, Laramar and chromatic steel. There's definitely some expense to it, but not terrible. So the sheep are going to produce quicker. Actually, I should have made a double one because I'm pretty sure sheep will produce wool as well. So I'm going to go make a double one for these guys. But if we put our sheep in there, we can add more than one sheep. And sheep is actually a really good one to do because the vaulter loves to ask me for mutton. Oh my gosh, does it want mutton? Yeah. Whoa, they're tiny sheep. Little baby sheep. Little baby sheep are producing wool and mutton, wool and mutton. But yeah, they're going to produce much faster than the single salmon. But where this mod gets really good is we can take these regular mystery eggs, which spawn a passive mob, and turn them into hostile mystery eggs with a little bit of eternal souls and some vault essence. So I'm just going to, let's see, I'll craft up eight of them. Now, some hostile mobs are better than others, but it's always fun to gamble. I'm hoping for blazes, because blaze rods are horrible to get. Skellies, because bones are horrible to get. Creepers, because I don't like to go for gunpowder, and those are useful. So that's what I'm really hoping for. Or, or witches, actually. Witches is another really good one to get. But we'll have to see. That is, I believe, drowned? Yep. That is a spider, I believe. Yep. That is another spider. Okay, so string and spider eyes, not bad. 
That is a skelly? Yes. Yes. All right. That is a stray, I think. Yep. That's another spider. Ooh, it's pretty lucky. That's another stray. That's another stray. Three strays. Do strays drop bones? I think they do. Wouldn't they? Right? I can check. Hold on. Yeah, strays will drop bones. So having three of them is pretty incredible. These will drop spider eyes and string. The drowned is kind of useful for zombie flesh, but we'll see. Uh, so I guess I don't need this skeleton right now. And by the way, the way you can check, uh, head over to the Vault Hunters official Discord and check the pinned comments on 118 General Talk. A lovely user whose name appears to be a little guy flipping over a table. So I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, I guess I pronounced it, uh, <clears throat> so thank you to <clears throat> on the Vault Hunters Discord server for making that chart very useful. We still have some eternal souls. I want to gamble more. Wubum. Uh, cave spider? Yeah. Another cave spider? Is that a wither? Enderman! Ooh, I wasn't even thinking of Enderman for Ender Pearls. Very nice. That's another drowned. I have no idea. Phantom. Phantom. Interesting. That's regular zombie, right? Yes, sir. Is that another stray? Nice. And another skelly boy. Cool. Okay. So uh, what this is showing me is that I'm really good at identifying the different Minecraft spawn eggs. So that's kind of a cool skill. I'm proud of myself for it. Also, Enderman, awesome. Spiders, awesome. Stray, awesome. Those stray actually produce four different or three different drops. They they make slowness arrows as well, uh, where the skeletons only make two. So we're gonna need a different type of drawer for them, but still very good. Spiders is two, Enderman's one. And I think I'll throw in a zombie as well. That being said, before I get too big for my britches, you don't put them in mob terrariums. You put them in what are they called? Mob cages. And ah, uh, little expensive the mob cages. They're a little bit expensive. They need uh, what is this? I think this is thirty-two chromatic steel in addition to two black chromatic steel, a extraordinary Laramar, and a woototic mass. So they're very pricey. We don't have actually a whole heckin' lot of chromatic steel. We have 23. However, we have enough carbon to make like more than 200. So I don't think we're going to be that bad. I don't want to, however, blow through all of our chromatic iron because clearly, you know, we know what happens there. So let's see about... Let's see. So that's one. You can afford one. Uh, how about going all the way to two? Oh, and, and then, yeah. Okay, so we can actually only afford two of these. So I'm going to go with the strays for bones, because those are annoying. I'm going to actually re-roll. I'm going to see if I can't find blazes, because I'm tired of being asked for blazes. And you can re-roll mystery eggs. You have to craft them back into the base mystery egg. Well, I guess I don't have to re-roll. I still have other mystery eggs. Yeah, I'm going to make a few more hostile mystery eggs. See if I can't get anything really exciting. Oh, out of eternal souls. Okay, so six is all we can make anyways. Skelly. Magma cube? Magma cube. That's kind of cool. Husk, I believe. Yeah. More spider. And another drowned. Three drowned, huh? That's not bad, actually. But four spiders and four strays. That's that's actually pretty good. So I guess those will be the ones we're using. Ghast! Hold on. Hold on. Ghast spawn egg? How did I miss that? That's not a skeleton at all. That's pretty cool, actually. Alrighty, two ominous skulls. And then we need six of these blocks and that should be a one and a two. Oh my gosh you know what's hilarious about this though is that i'm not actually limited on anything but chromatic iron like if we found a chromatic iron room we would be fine but we haven't so we're not but once we do i'm gonna double that up and we're gonna be so freaking wealthy you are not gonna believe Alrighty, four spiders in this guy Aw, oh, look at the little baby spiders and four strays in this guy. And look at the baby strays. Adorable. And these guys should be producing pretty fast. 
How much uh, sheep stuff do we have? Wow. I'm surprised. That's a lot. How much fish stuff? Ten already? Huh. Not bad. Well, today was one insane adventure, but we finally made it to Kajirium. Let me know what mods you think I should unlock next. I'm thinking power and mechanism, not gonna lie. I'm liking that ore duplication a lot more now that I'm consistently out of my chromatic iron. But we'll get there when we get there. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what I should do with that echo ore in the comments below. Like the video, because, come on, you liked the video. You made it all the way to the end. And please subscribe. It makes me feel good. It makes you feel good, because you get more of this content just about every day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everybody!